Okay, so me again. I said that I would look at. You see, this is what happens when you are online and then you start recording videos and you forget that you're in the middle of something. So I'm paying certain things. No, no, no. I know the big thing right now is to save, but I also don't want to accumulate a debt and especially if it is something for someone who needs the money now you know you know we keep talking about oh there are people who live hand to mouth and nah, nah, nah. even if somebody runs an organization where they pay six people i'd like them to be able to pay those six people so me and tessa link remain friends five seconds by the way i can log off now and send this payment at 2 a.m and it will still reflect same day as cash and it will cost me nothing tessa link i like you my, my new best friend <laughs> so um i said i would come to this sorry i'm closing the pestling window somebody told me caroline in your next vlog can you address a few things one kids being home i've seen very many parents complaining and many it's because they have to do the work and you know they're dealing with their children let me tell you what i'm grateful for not just teachers i think that is now nationally known and you all agree with me but I'm grateful for the ability to see what my kids get, don't get, enjoy, don't enjoy. And forget the schoolwork for a minute there. I'm really grateful for the time. Think about it. If you're like me, you're a working parent. Most days I will try to be home by 5.30. My kids sleep at 7.30. So by 7.15 we're praying, we're kissing, we're hugging. 7.30 I want you down. Because mama needs to shower, get a glass of wine, look at her last emails, get out of book and just, you know, decompress. I'm grateful for the time I've had in the last couple of days. Um, the tempo is different. I'm still working and I'm sure you've seen that. Um, but that my tempo is very, very different. That's that's my tempo. Um, and I I have loved that. I have loved also getting a sense of what she truly, truly gets and what she doesn't get. Allow me to explain. The other day we were going through equivalent fractions, and of course what I did is I got onto Khan Academy very quickly, went through the class, and then went to teach her. And as we were going through the first kind of thing, she said, it's okay, mom, I know that. What I don't know is this. And I was like, oh, okay. Um, I've learned that when it comes to reading a passage and answering questions, she just hates the idea of having to read a long passage. So as the holidays kick in, I know, you know, this is something we're going to work on. Oh, I can, let me just say this to the teachers at my daughter's school. I'm going to send you back a very different human. I'm going to... I'm going to purpose to, okay? And then I realized when it comes to art and the sciences, like there was a week that she was dealing in, um, you know, that whole transition, liquids, gases, solids. She loves that stuff. She could do 10 exercises in it. So, you know, I'm, I'm, I've gotten a different insight into who my daughter is. And I'm really grateful. So, um... I'm really happy, by the way, because like I said, I mean, if I get home at 5.30, by the time we shower, eat, do homework, where are your socks, where did you leave your blazer, if I have one more conversation, this girl has two blazers, just let's not start, but I'm grateful, I'm grateful that I've had a chance to immerse myself in a different way and I've had time that I did not have time before. I'm also grateful for just the space to do the things I constantly said, oh God, when I get time, I'll do that. When I get time, I'll do that. When I get time, I'll do that. And it's just tidying up, opening your drawers, throwing out rubbish. Last weekend, I must have started at about 9 p.m. The kids went to bed. We did movie night, 9 p.m. on Friday. By Sunday, if you had seen my bedroom and my bookshelf, you wouldn't have a man. I almost went to Nairobi Sports House to buy myself a trophy. Um, so all those things you keep saying you wish you had time to do, I'm doing them. I'm reading. Um, somehow I'm journaling better. I don't know why, but I think also the tempo of my life has slowed down. The other thing I'm grateful for is a clear understanding of value. 
um, because we've been forced into thinking about our discretionary spend and we've been forced to think about what we really, really need, um, all of a sudden I've realized my priorities and even, especially financially. I think I am really good with my money. <laughs> Coronavirus has brought a whole new understanding. Um, so I'm very grateful for that. I'm grateful for the chance to be home. You know, we've got homes that we bought, like in my case, we're in those houses, if we're lucky, three hours on a day? Forget the sleeping part. I've been in my garden, I've sat in the swing, I've, I've done, I've enjoyed my house. I've stroked the dogs, I don't stroke those dogs. They're not mine, they're Lucas. But I've actually, <laughs> I've stroked the dogs. <laughs> I've hung out with them on my lap. I mean, thank you, coronavirus. This is not stuff that happens in my life at all. So I'm grateful for that. Um, I'm grateful for the way I'm working and thinking about work. Obviously, you know, business by its very nature has shrunk. So if you're fortunate enough to have work that comes to you, I'm a little more deliberate, a little more incisive in trying to focus on value in two ways, for the money you're giving me, um, for the revenue we're getting as a business, but also for the delivery to audiences. It's just, I'm so grateful. I mean, it's like I went to a crash course and learned how to do business anew. I, I think I'm going to be a more astute person by the time we emerge from this. And I'll explain um, just because I've been forced to rethink a lot of things, but I'm also have a lot more time to panel beat a lot of things that I'm doing for um, clients. So I'm very, very grateful for, for the time. Um, I am, and I hope I'm not the only one. And also, you know, falling in love with Nairobi again and just realizing why are you going? Oh, I'll tell you the one other thing that, um, no, it's okay. I was going to say it's not politically correct to say, but this is me. Coronavirus is a great equalizer. The absolute great equalizer. There you were stacking your passports and cash so you could run off to another place because apparently this place is not good enough for you. Guess what? We're just here for a moment. And by the way, the world of travel is going to change radically. And, 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 and. The globe just shrunk again, by the way, huh? It shrunk again. We're gonna have to open up the world again in a couple of months and it's gonna take a moment. But um, coronavirus, the great equalizer. Truly, 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 without a doubt, the great equalizer. Yeah, you had no time for local hospitals. Really? How's Bagali looking? And I need to say it because people will not say it. I'm hoping that there will be more effort put around our own facilities and our own things rather than this we're running off to Dubai we're going to India and there's nothing I've nothing against India but what happened to Kenya and if you go Siwende, Kabisa I don't get it I will tell you what I'm watching this weekend out of the corner of my eye like this the USA wow, 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 wow. you know the way they always do that thoughts and prayers let me tell you thoughts and prayers Thoughts and prayers. And guys, you know, we shouldn't watch Italy in, in isolation and say that's them and watch, you know, England and watch what is happening in the US and say, Anya, uh, 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 that could be us. But for the grace of God and your mother's prayers and my mother's prayers, that could be us. So be good. Enjoy your children, your spouses, your homes, your apartments, your time. Enjoy enjoy this gift we've been given even if it has come packaged strangely and um here's looking forward to a new week seriously i'm enjoying this i hope so are you be good stay safe be well stay positive